So I just watched the uh, speech again, Obama in Syria. And I've got a page full of contradictions and comments and things that I would see as a serious problem. You know, he said shows over a thousand people got hit by these chemicals. I'd like to know what happened with all the hundreds of thousands, hundred thousand Christians that have been murdered and slaughtered and burned and beheaded and all out tortured by the Muslim extremists over there. Uh, it's it's horrible any way you think of it that people have to go through the the pain and horror of chemical attacks but you shouldn't notice a thousand people over a hundred thousand people um, why he is going I find it really hypocritical and he's gonna talk about how he can hit him tomorrow a week a month then turns around and says that he's gonna seek congressional approval um, I don't see him voting tomorrow. I, I'm, I'm really having trouble processing that. Um, how he could say one thing and turn around and say the same, say, say a completely different thing in the same speech. And then he calls us a constitutional democracy. Our Constitution and the Bill of Rights is anything but a democracy. Won't you try a constitutional republic? <clears throat> and then he's going to sit there and talk about he's confident in his decision without the approval of the UN saying they're completely paralyzed, but then goes around and contradicts himself again by saying what is the purpose of an international system that has been built if not for handling these issues. He's saying without a doubt he knows that Syria, that the Assad re regime has used chemical weapons. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, you're, you're, you're leaking all this other information about how you're going to do it, when you're going to do it, how many ships are over there, what the plan is, what you're going to hit, when you're going to hit it, how you're going to hit it, who, what, when, where, and why. But you're not willing to release the, the evidence on why you're going to do that? And what gives you the right to say you, ha you believe you have the authority? Because I guarantee you, the Constitution of the United States of America says different. The rules of a president does not give you the right to have the authority to decide whether or not you're going to punish another country over evidence that isn't there which there's evidence that says the other way around that it was actually the the rebels that were doing it not Assad but you know well we're gonna go ahead and do it no no you're wrong read the Constitution And then he's going to say that 98% of the world is in favor of doing something. And what reality is 98% of the world wanting us to go in and punish Assad regime? Because the way I'm looking at it, and the way I'm reading it, and the way I'm seeing it, Russia, China, even Britain has backed out of this. And what reality is 98 percent of the world in favor of this because the way I see it America isn't with a resounding no we call it a massacre but you know like I said what about the hundred thousand Christians that have been massacred or any non-muslim extremist belief that have been massacred what about the Buddhists who are being massacred what about Sweden that's getting massacred or Britain what about them? Where, where's your where's your 
Where's your reaction to that? Where's your reaction to the fact that you're supplying money to these freaking infidels? Yeah, they call us infidels. No, it's the other way around. You call us crazy and conspiracy theorists, and you call us terrorists, and you call us all these other names. But guess what, buddy? My belief has been around this damn country for 250 damn years, and it was based on beliefs from our forefathers who wrote the Constitution and the Bill of Rights to defend it and to ensure that we have this. You, nor any other fucking politician out there, has the right to tell me what I believe, and they call me a terrorist because I believe I have the right to fight for it. You know what I got for you, buddy? Fuck you! Fuck you and the fucking horse you rode in on. I'm fucking done with this lying bullshit. I'm done with you fucking president. I'm done with you, you fucking lying ass, usurper, fucking Muslim extremist, underground, lying, fucking double saying, fucking piece of shit. For all you fucking Democrats out there who want to fucking support this guy, I want to ask you a question. Do you understand what is happening? Do you understand what you are supporting? Do you understand the road we are going down? Do you understand? There are two paths we can take right now. Two paths. One leads to destruction of the United States of America. The other leads to the prosperity of the United States of America. And I'm here to tell you, your blind support would believe in anything these politicians say because they're the ones up there. They don't know shit. They've been put in office because they're willing to say shit that these elites pay them to say. They don't give a crap about you. They don't give a crap about me. They don't even give a crap about this country because if they did, they'd have balls and integrity enough to stand up and fight for it. Congress is on a five-week vacation during the middle of this. You tell me what's wrong with that. You tell me where the issue is. You tell me where the issue is when our president can go out there and say anything he wants and nobody does a damn thing about it. You know who you know you know who's seeing this situation? You know who knows what's going on? Putin. Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, has more common sense than half of this damn country does. He sees it. He knows it's there. He's calling it out. He's calling Obama out. He's not stupid. You need to use your head. Look it up and start following the right path because what you're supporting will lead to your death. When it happens, when you're in a FEMA camp, when the police come busting your door down because you exercise your constitutional rights of opinion, then you'll wish that you would have done something sooner. Then you'll be sitting there, locked up, tortured, possibly killed, but if you're killed, you're not going to think about much. But you're going to be wondering what the hell happened. He is fooling America and those who would blindly follow him. It's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to get your head out of your ass, stand up, and do what's right. This isn't a democratic thing anymore. This isn't a republican thing anymore. This isn't even a political thing. Because if you don't stand up and we don't get out there as a voice, we're done. All this lying, all this false, all these people that don't have a clue what's going on. A politician telling you what you can do with EPA or food or, or with science or, or with anything else is absurd. They don't know enough to do anything. You need to get to people in there who know what's going on. Politicians aren't good for much. All they are is a mouthpiece. There are some out there, Rand Paul, Senator Cruz, Ms. Palin, 
for the most part, all we got is a bunch of damn spineless, scared, pussyfooting politicians. Republicans, Democrats, Senators, Congress, that they've been threatened, coerced, paid off, promised. We've got FEMA getting ready right now. News isn't even talking about Fukushima and the fact that they got a thousand tons of uranium depleted rods sitting on top of this thing. The ocean is boiling at Fukushima. It is a seriously dire situation, but instead we want to worry about all this crap. I tell you what, this crap right here serves as a smoke screen so you don't have to worry about Fukushima and the fact that you guys are going to get a very high dose of radiation. I called my mom today and told her about the radiation because she lives in Oak Harbor, Washington. That's an island off the northwest coast. And I explained to her what was going on and what she could do. And I, I you know, I, I felt kind of out of place telling her because she kind of sees me as the one that follows all this craziness. But you know what? These conspiracy theories are proven to be true more and more and more. Chemtrails, well, well, guess what? We know they're true now. Uh, GMOs, oh, well, guess what? We know they're real. Agenda 21, well, it's been on Fox News. But no, we're conspiracy theorists. We need, to get, we need to get a life. Wake up. Pull your head out of your ass. You're being lied to. You're being told the wrong stuff. I need... I would suggest for you to get active in your communities. I would suggest for you to get somewhere where you can be of use. Get your voice out there. Call your congressmen, for God's sake. Call your senators. And if they don't want to do it, guess what? Get them out. Put somebody up in there that's gonna. Because all I hear right now is a bunch of damn promises and a bunch of, oh, we, I, I, I don't support the gun laws on... You know, I don't, I don't support that. I'm on your side. And that's all I hear. Bunch of damn mouthpieces. Because if they were actually truly intent on doing something, this jackass would be out of office a long time ago. Quit drinking the Kool-Aid. It's not adding up. It is not adding up. You think 1 plus 2 equals 18. Because that's what they tell you it is. I'm fed up. I'm done with this. And you know what? Yeah, FBI and, 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 the, and the cops and all that. Can come. Which side are you on? Did you take the oath to the Constitution of the United States of America to protect this in, uh, country against all enemies, both foreign and domestic, like I did? Do you know what's right? Or is it, I'm just doing my job, and I'm just, uh, that's what I'm trained to do. I'm, that's just what I, you know, that's my job. You know, and then a lot of them are afraid to speak out because they're going to get terminated, you know, and they're going to get fired, and they're, you know, well, so you would rather be a part of this and, and prove to them that people really can be brainwashed and scared into compliance with their rules. So you would rather be the authority to get on board there and start taking people down because I'm labeled a terrorist. My opinions, like I said, have been around for 250 years. Who are you to tell me I'm an extremist? Who? Who are you? We've had president after president after president run this country, and then Obama's going to come along and discredit and discount all the soldiers, all the blood, the millions upon millions of people, hundreds of millions of people who have fought and died and cherished and held close to their hearts the same beliefs that I hold and that my brothers hold. And you're going to tell me I'm a terrorist for that. It doesn't take a politician. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out where we are going. And if you 
you're okay with being told what to do, when to do, where to do, how much money you're going to make, what food you're going to eat, when you're going to eat, your health care, uh, your guns being taken away, and every right you have being stripped down and you put in, being put in a FEMA camp so you don't have to worry about life's little challenges anymore, then go ahead, continue supporting this jackass.